Hello friends, I am Ekta Sharma, Assistant Professor, Biyani Group of Colleges. Welcome to you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on 2D array. As we have discussed in the previous chapter, 1D array and the other arrays. Now let us discuss about the 2D array. Now what is a 2D array? Before that, let's see what is an 1D array. Now, as you can see, this number 1, this is a 1D array where we have only one row and we have four, 5 columns. That is from 0 index to 4 index. So, we can say that there are 5 columns and only 1 row. But if you have an array which has more rows and more columns, that, uh, that means you are using a 2D array. So, we have this 2D array over here. As you can see in this table, we have row 0, row 1, row 2. It means we have 3 rows here and then column 0, column 1 and column 2, it means we have 3 columns over here and this E1, E2 and E3, these E uh, are representing the elements of the array. As you can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can say this is a 2D array of 3 into 3, you can also pronounce it as a 3 into 3 matrix. Three, this 3 refers to 3 rows and this 3 refers to 3 columns, it means it has 9 blocks in it which you can say 3 into 3 that is 3 rows and 3 columns. So now let's see how we can populate these rows or how to initialize this 2D array. Okay, now let's proceed with the syntax. How we can write this uh, first of all on the initialization state. As you can say in this example, this integer, this will tell you about the data type. We are using the integer data type. Then this ARR, we can see that this is the name of the array. Like uh, by which name you will call this array. Next is this 3 and this 3. This 3 represent the total number of rows you have in your 2D matrix or your 2D array. And this 3, this will represent the total number of columns in your 2D matrix or in your 2D array. So this is how you will write the 2D array, how you will initialize. Now let's see how to populate this 2D array with using the for loop. If you want to put the elements or if you want to enter the elements in a 2D array, you need to utilize two loops. That is a for loop of i and for loop of Change. Now, first we are starting with the row loop which will run the row. This i loop, this loop will represent or this will work on the individual row of your 2D array. And this j loop, this will particularly work on the columns. It will uh, work on uh, in single column particularly. Now, in the block uh, in the block of the body of the loop, we have already mentioned the cout which is the input uh, which is the print statement. We have already mentioned elements over here. Then the sin which will get the input from the user. As you can see this a of i j this this is the name of the array. i means the number of the row and j represent the number of the column. It means suppose I say a of 0 and 0. It means a array on the 0 row and the 0 position and whatever the uh, value will be entered by the user. That value will come on A of 0 and 0 position. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. For information details and for info educational details, you can of course visit to our website that is www.gurukpo.com.